Two semi-final races in the under eight, 17 girls, 800 meters. Top three from each, plus the next two fastest to advance to the final. We begin with the girls, 800 under 17. Grenada's uh, Keila Olive. Guyana's Marissa Thomas, the championship record you see there in the 17 girls, 800, Natoya Gould. Kayla Olive, uh, Grenada, Guyana's uh, Marissa Thomas, Jamaica's uh, Kevon Gay, uh, Fowler, the Bahamas' Jade Knowles, Bermuda's Jada Grant, uh, Trinidad and Tobago's uh, Cheyenne Lewis, uh, Barbados' uh, Dania Skeet, and uh, from the Turks and Caicos Islands, Eunice Misik. That record once again, 209.59. Once again, the Jamaicans expected to really be the class of this field, especially in this division, these under-17 girls. Lewis, uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Kevin Gay founder there on Jamaica by a distance, the fastest in this semi-final. Built a little like a young Princess Toya. You know a lot about these things, don't you? One of my favorite athletes um, at the Karifta Games, Toya Ghoul. Fantastic athlete. Yeah, terrific performance. Natoya Gould still the record holder. A lot taller than Natoya Gould, that much I can tell you. And maybe not as fast. First semi final coming up in the under 17 girls, 800 meters. There is Kevin Gay Fowler, fastest in the field for this first section especially in events like the 800 and 1500 expect the the class of the Jamaicans to really shine through in part because they have that depth and they have that level of competition that a lot of these other countries are lacking. It's a lot of times you find that even if you have an outstanding runner in the 800, 1500 meter, he or she doesn't have anybody to really push them, so they don't really get better. But a bit delay in getting the 800 started. Yeah, this event scheduled to get on the way at 10 o'clock local time. It is 10 o'clock. And uh, so as soon as the starting equipment is ready, I don't think they'll send this one off. Not a lot of fans in this morning. Maybe a number of individuals heading to church. And they are probably watching on the Sportsmax app. I was told that part of the problem with the starting apparatus yesterday, as we see a group there from St. Lucia, I think a couple of St. Lucians would be in the 800 meter heats this morning. Most of those would be from the south of St. Lucia, Viewfort, Barbados, also well represented. Couldn't tell you where in Barbados those individuals are from. <laughs> Grenada is very much in the house. Great hosts. Terrific hosts. This is my third time in Grenada, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it, maybe more than the other visits as well. A 
of course, the first time I came was to watch the West Indies play. Well, that is not universally enjoyable. The West Indies won that series, I can tell you. It was against Zimbabwe. But, but how was your heart? Didn't race, actually. <laughs> it probably was the most boring three-match 50-over series I'd ever watched. West Indies won, though, so there was that consolation. But it wasn't very exciting, in all honesty. That was back in 2013. At the cricket stadium now under refurbishment. This stadium, the Karani James, refurbished after Hurricane Ivan in 2004 and got it ready for the 2016 Carifta Games and then redeveloped the or refurbished the track in time for these games here in 2024. Semi-final round of the under 17 girls, 800 meters coming up. A delay at the start because we should have gotten this one away three minutes ago. Again, Olive of Grenada. Thomas was in the 400 final last night. For Guyana. Kevin Gay Fowler, Jamaica. Jade Knowles of the Bahamas. Jada Grant, Bermuda. Cheyenne Lewis, Trinidad and Tobago. Dania Skeet of Barbados and Eunice Missick of the Turks and Caicos Islands. Top three plus the next two fastest on times. The guns have been really quick this morning. Really do need to allow the athletes to settle effectively before that gun goes, but they are away and all safe as Trinidad and Tobago's Cheyenne Lewis goes out really hard and takes the early advantage. This is a pretty brisk pace for the Trinbagonian. 4-4-2. A 1-4-2. Jada Grant of Bermuda in second position with the Kevin Gay Fowler, the Jamaican. Comfortable in third, the Bahamian. Jade Knowles in fourth position, but this is really quick from the Trinidad and Tobago athlete, Cheyenne Lewis, and no one is trying to go with her. Will she be able to maintain this? It's almost ridiculously fast for a first round heat. It was about 103 for the first 400. And she's really pushing this, Terry. A loser bronze medalist last evening in the 1500 and uh, she is really taking the pace out here and uh, the challenge now materializing from Edwin Allen's uh, Kevon Gay Fowler. Yeah, she did the same thing in the 1500 final last night, took it out, went to the front and tried to maintain. She did well enough to hold on for the bronze medal there, but here will she be able to hold on? to an automatic qualifying position. Kevin Gay followed the Jamaican, steps forward and joins her. The rest of the field, I am not sure if they have the quality to close in on a struggling Shine Lewis of Trinidad and Tobago. Fowler, the Jamaican, takes charge now. Lewis in second position, coming through is Nose of the Bahamas. She's in third. The Barbadian, Danny Skeet, finds herself in fourth position. Top three short to be in the final. Kevin Gay Fowler, favorite coming in, and she eases away to win this one comfortably. 216.99 on the clock downstairs. Lewis holds on for second, and I think the Bohemian picked the Barbadian on the line for the third automatic qualifying position. You she know, front running not a, a terrible strategy if you're able to hold on to the end, and she's able to hold on, but what she does especially in the last couple of hundred meters, is that she starts looking around to see what's going on. She starts looking at the ground. If you can remain focused through that 800 or 1500 meters, then front running is fine. But she's not doing so. She's losing her concentration. She's starting to think about who's behind her. Um, and she's taking valuable seconds away every time she does that. Yeah, I just think 103 for the first 400 meters was unnecessary in a first-round <laughs> heat where 
outside of Kevin Gay Fowler at 212, and she's not looking to run 212 here in the qualifying round. You're dealing with the 220 competitors, mid 220s, and so I think you can be significantly smarter in a first round heat, but yeah. she is young, and with time, I think she will learn and understand how to negotiate qualifying. Kevin Gay Fowler having that down to a T, easing to 216.99 based on what we saw on the clock downstairs. So Fowler, Lewis, the 1500 bronze medalist from last night, and the Bohemian Jade Knowles qualifying automatically. 217.04, 221.16 for Lewis, 222.21 for Knowles, key to Barbados 222.31 and Jada Grant of Bermuda 228.89 on the bubble. Likely that we'll see somewhat similar times in the second heat, I think. So the young Barbadian may feel good about her chances.